Greetings, Captain's gunship here. Hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you about battle cruisers and uh, do that while giving you a little bit of gameplay of me playing the Graf's Bay, as that's probably the closest VR at the moment. And it's well, the pretty certainly being nicknamed a pocket battleship, so it's at least close, right? So if we look in the data files and all the rest of it, hopefully we'll soon see the HMS Hood, the Sean Horst, the Alaska, might be others coming our way. And that'll be great. It's about time we get to play some bigger ships. And we probably have to, in fairness, go down that route first before we get to battleships that everyone really wants to play. Well, certainly I would like to play the Yamato or the Iowa or the Bismarck and, and so on. I think that is legendary ships that if you ask anybody that just have the faintest idea about what a battleship is from the Second World War, they might say something like the Iowa or the Bismarck or the Turpest or those kind of things. But certainly the Yamato is probably the most famous of them all. But Battle Cruisers is where it is for the moment, and that is great, and I certainly look forward to it. So I hope that comes real soon. What I also hope will come real soon is him doing confrontation. I don't know about you, but playing cruisers on the current map selection just drive me bonkers. Not so much the battle I'm in here right now, which is Ocean, because that's fine, uh, but the maps uh, like African coast. Uh, it's just annoying to play these kind of uh, games where you're just constantly being neglected for lack of a better word. You know, you can't actually do much in terms of taking the objectives unless you spawn in small boats first. And that sort of takes the point away from the cruiser. Surely the cruiser should win over a small ship. I mean, Black Sea Port is one of them, African Gulf, the North Pole map is another one, and, and the worst one of them all is the one I was thinking about first, which is actually Norway. Uh, really irritating, because there's nothing you can do. If B and C is captured, well, you're halfway to A and the game is over, right? That's just annoying. But hopefully, uh, that will soon be a thing of the past because we'll have been doing confrontations. There's some good maps coming up for that. Uh, there should be a new Denmark map. There uh, should be a new tweaked version of the English Channel. So there's certainly things to look forward to. And I hope now that they have taken the good old time about getting around to uh, creating doing confrontation for us, that it will be a success. And, and if it's not 100%, I think it's speak for everyone that play, you know, bigger ships. We are happy to work the guide in on this. If they don't get it right, you know, well, not the first time, this time, well, don't despair. Let's let's work on it. I'm sure the community is all behind getting it to work. There is, after all, some really compelling reason to play EC. Apart from the bigger map and the longer playtime, you know, it was just, well, overall, it was one of the most enjoyable and well received game modes we had. You know, the whole thing, you can play for longer, yeah, and, and because you play for longer, you've got less queue time. You might have a bit of queue time in the start to get in, that's fine. Um, but, you know, you didn't have this constantly, I'll play for 10 minutes and I'll wait for half an hour, I'll play for 10 minutes, I'll wait for half an hour, which we seem to be doing at the moment. Now, you go in, you queue with your mates, that's fine, you get into a battle and you stick out there and you play for maybe an hour and a half, two hours or whatever, and, and you have a good time. And, and at the end of the day, you end up with a good bunch of resource points and it doesn't quite feel like the same slavery as it is when you're just doing one battle after another. I also think that the whole 
way of allowing the continuous join into the battle, allow for more real player and fewer bots, and it allows people to join in as a squad of four or two or three or whatever, and actually get a battle, and then you can play with your friends, and that's far better than at the moment where if you're queuing with four people, well, you're lucky if you get a battle within half an hour, right? That's just the way it is. This thing where you can join into a battle, play for a while, leave, and other people can keep joining in. Surely that's a far better way of doing it than hoping that you can scrape people together uh, and create a battle. I mean, how many battles have you guys been in where you're just four people on each side and a bunch of bots? It sort of takes away from the online multiplayer. You almost just play a single player game, right? Not much different. Maybe that's a little bit exaggerated, but exaggerating for effect, right? Battle cruisers will be ideal in doing confrontation because that's what they want. A battle that lasts longer, guns are a bit slower and so on. And you know what? Guidance, you ask the player base, that is exactly what they're happy about. Nobody that plays big ships that need them to be speedboats. That is not why we play them. We're quite happy that the guns take a little bit of time to reload. You know, it's relaxing, fun gameplay. It's tactical if you get longer time to do things. So within doing confrontation you can go and capture ports and you know, you can impact the game a bit more than you can under the usual, you know, until the last cargo ship is sunk then there's nothing you can do and often that's done by some little boat that's snug around at the back. Now, I certainly look forward to enduring confrontation. Uh, the forums have been full of it for months and months and months. Can we please, please, please have enduring confrontation? And I think that we are almost there and I just can't wait. I think it will be brilliant. There's a little event happening soon, just have to take another little event, but hopefully the introduction of battle cruisers they will also give us enduring confrontation and that would be sweet. Will it be worth the wait? Well it has been a long drought. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, which is just the, the gameplay. It happened to be you know, quite a good session. It was a bit random, it was a settled second battle. Um, I didn't do too sh well in the first one. We won, but again, that was on Amer African coast or whatever, so I only was in for five minutes before the game was over. Uh, at least in this one here, it takes a good 17 minutes, but I'd much rather that it was 45 minutes or an hour and a half during confrontation to be honest. Okay, I'm wobbling on. I hope we'll soon get some really interesting stuff and when we do, I think we can maybe give World of Warship a bit of a run for their money. Good enduring confrontation, so we do that. Okay, gunship over now.